In this video, we'll look at how to configure your preliminary payroll to manage employee information and work together with your payroll accountant. Setting up your preliminary payroll settings in Personio allows you to manage your monthly preliminary payroll and to stay on top of data changes for employee attributes, salaries, and absences. You can generate exports in Excel format at any stage and send them to your payroll accountant who can finalize the payroll. Step 1. Configure your payroll settings. In the general settings for your preliminary payroll, you can define, for example, which payroll data is displayed in the payroll table and export, and choose the timeline for your monthly payroll processes. To set up your preliminary payroll, go to Settings, Payroll, Salary and Payroll, General. Click into the Attribute field here, select all the employee attributes and personal compensation types that you want to add to your payroll table. If you'd like to display salary data in a separate tab in the payroll table, tick the box under Separate Salary tab. If you don't do this, make sure you've added all relevant salary attributes above, here, so they'll be displayed in the payroll table in the Personal Data tab. Under Absence Types in Absence tab, add any absence types that you'd like to review in the Absences tab of the payroll table. Under Prorate Salary Calculation, decide if prorated salary calculations shall be based on 30 days or days of the month. This calculates what proportion of their fixed salary employees get if they start in the middle of the month or what they receive when their salary changes in the middle of the month. For example, if they start on the 15th of January, they get paid proportionally for those 17 days. So for 30 days, we divide 17 by 30 and multiply by their monthly salary. For days of the month, we divide 17 by 31, the actual amount for January, and multiply by their monthly salary. The same logic applies when salaries change during a month. Under Send Review Reminder On, you can specify a day in the month to send review reminders to employees with administrator rights to remind them to review payroll information. Ensure that these administrators have activated the notification for the payroll review in their personal settings. Under Build Payroll Groups By, you can then choose which attribute to base the payroll groups on. Each payroll group that you create will result in a separate export being created. You can select any attribute of the type List of Options. If you need to, you can add a List of Options attribute to meet almost any criteria to create your payroll groups. No matter which attribute you choose, ensure that each employee has a value added for it. So if you decide to build payroll groups by department, for example, ensure that each employee is assigned to one. Step 2. Add Payroll Periods Payroll periods are based on the payroll groups that you have previously selected in the General tab. For each group, you can define the time period when the tracked hours and absence periods are added up, if you have added them as attributes to the payroll table. Select a payroll group and then click on Add Payroll Period. Choose the time frame of the payroll period and the payroll period is then set from the following month. And you can click Add. Congratulations! You have now configured your general payroll settings and set the payroll periods for your payroll groups.